on the Earth, climate change and its major cause. Introduction and results. It has been said that the solution to the end object problem in astronomy is the oldest of humanity. The major factor in the change of Earth's average temperature is related to its distance to the Sun. It is what I claim. Other evaluations that I have done, such as burning all the fossil fuels extracted for a century with atmospheric air, do not give the amount of heating that we are experiencing. Such lack of heating prompted me to investigate more. It is known that the amount of heat irradiated by the sun taken by a body depends on the distance to its source, a function which may describe the temperature field for a spherical sun is close to an inverse distance squared root field. Using data taken by satellites flying through the solar system, a function can be constructed which results in temperature equals 5 to e to the 8 times the radius raised to the minus 0.56 power. That is in Kelvin degrees. Therefore, a solution to the problem of finding the distance between Earth and the Sun are, with respect to time, and therefore indicate the temperature of the field at orbital distances. So the solution needs first to solve the n-body problem. In this work, I use system dynamics in order to figure out both answers. As a result, the ice ages and global warming of the planet can be explained with this new model, and therefore the variation of our average temperature with time, which I call it the orbital temperature. Formulation. There are several factors for the climate change of Earth. It can be thought as a total derivative in mathematics. The total change of a temperature function T, which depends on several factors Fi, can be written as the next formula. In English, that formula says, the total change of temperature is given by a summation of the partial change of temperature T respect to factor 1 times the change of factor 1 plus the change of temperature T respect to factor 2 times the change of factor 2 and so on. Eccentricity is permitted in this way. The major influence between two bodies translating about the center is just the cosine law given the basic size of their orbits and the function of the planet's masses. In the two-body problem, a potential between two bodies is used, as in Newton's case. In the three-body problem, each body contributes with its own potential, so three potentials are used with their respective trigonometric part. Results the Ice Age cycles have been simulated. Variations of the parameters can alter the representation shape of the cycles. However, as seen in previous research by others, there is some sort of cycles and periodicity, which clearly indicates the influence of a cyclic system, or more properly, the action of some still unknown objects of our solar system. Conclusion it is considered that a good approximation of the distance from the Earth to the Sun, computed using methods of dynamical systems, has been achieved, and therefore the temperature variation as a consequence for Earth. In the near future, a fully strong differential formulation for the system will be investigated, as the solution proposed now shows a way to assemble the system of differential equations. The complete analytical solution must be somewhat analogous to a transition matrix E raised to 80 calculated by solving the full system of differential equations. Appendix for a total of 840 parameters. The values given in this simulation are calibrated somehow arbitrarily in order to get the results required that are also in some cases some, somewhat arbitrary, especially for the unknown objects. The big assumption done here is that at least one planet of the biggest orbit is needed to in order to produce the Ice Age cycles, even here at about almost 120,000 Earth years. 
Two more bodies are proposed, one of about 64,000 years and another of about 26,000 years, believed to be needed in order to comply with the precession of the Earth. At first, a Nibiru body was proposed only to account for some legends, but with the newly discovered trans-Neptunian objects, there are a couple of them which can be called Nibiru as the orbits are at the proper size and eccentricity as for example the object called BP113. In contrast to the Newtonian system for nine classic planets, only 18 parameters are needed plus M and G. Note: The reason I offer in order to present this work as it is, and not to go to a more formal fully analytical solution, has to do with personal causes. It is very urgent for me to show my level of understanding on how to formulate and solve dynamical systems in which every element influences all the others and thus provide a way to make decisions in order to have desired results for a given system from design. In order to achieve a good dynamical solution, a design of the system is needed and then apply a full analysis to it and invent or devise new methods of solution. The consequences of choosing a proper formulation as well as how to tune up the parameters in order to achieve the desired result demanded by the design is crucial in big projects. It provides a solution to the oldest humanity problem that we are facing now and that greatly affects the global warming. Solutions to the last problem can now be much better understood, analyzed and therefore offer better alternatives of mitigation. This work has consumed almost a year of full-time research. Jose Saldivar Olague, May 24, 2024. Many thanks.